go to shinearmor.com, use my code CHICAGOIN20, you can get 20% off your order. So definitely go check that out, go try it out. Welcome back to another video. Um, you can tell by the title, well as you can tell again, I'm in school again, like I said, um, a little... Now, I haven't been super consistent when it comes to making videos recently, just because I'm in school. So I have school again, and now i got midterms. But, um, here is another video today. Um, making this one early in the morning before I get my schedule booked for the entire day. Um, but yeah, um, today's video, doing some body work on my 1994 Mustang GT Fox body. And, yeah, it was long awaited. The body work is finally done. Well, the, the trim piece that I needed is finally here and it's complete so with that being said i hope you enjoyed today's video remember like 2,000 subscribers for the end of 2023 and let's get on with the video welcome back to another video it has been a while since I have made a video, it is not even a while since I've posted a video because I've, I'm so backed up on videos. I'm still keeping the schedule of Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. I'm still keeping that schedule, but I'm just so backed up on videos, I haven't gotten to any present time video. And what I mean by that is, as I'm making this video, it is August 7th, 2023. So, this probably won't come out till sometime September. Um, we will see. But anyway, um, we're back with the Fox body. Just finally a week's worth of work has been done, completed. Um, we need to do some electrical work, um, a ignition module, a starter, ignition starter, and then cleaned it up, did, uh, had to rewire a bunch of stuff throughout the car. Um, and yeah, so we are good to go with the Fox body electrically almost um, There's still a lot more little things that happened because there was a issue with a reverse polarity thing I'm not gonna get too much into it, but it messed up some sensors. So I got to replace all those sensors um, Yeah, anyway, the way reason you're here is because of this right here so if you don't know in a previous video um, my uncle was helping me fix this corner of the fox body. Um, there was a dent, a big dent. That's how I got it. Um, sorry about that. Someone was calling me. But back to what I was saying, um, there was a dent here that was there when I got it. So my uncle helped me fix it up, bring the dent back out, primer it up. So now it is ready to put the trim piece because it is a Mustang GT. So there's a ground effects piece that is missing. But I purchased it in the previous video, and I painted it in the previous video. If you didn't go check that out, go check that out after this video. But today's video, I'm going to be putting on that trim piece right here. So it's good to go. I'm not painting it yet. Just putting on the trim piece right now just so it puts the look together. You're still going to have the primer here and there. Um, but that's fine. Um, as long as I get the piece on there to complete the full look. I really don't care if there's primer there for right now because there's going to be primer right here. There will soon be primer on this side when we fix that rust. This rust is going to stay. Also, the 5.0 badge is coming off, so I, I just took it off so it didn't fall off. Um, this rust is going to stay for now till I repaint the entire car next year. Um, but there's going to be primer. There's already primer on that side. There's going to be primer on this side. And then I'm going to cover up the hood pin holes that were here also when I purchased the car. Well, the hood pins are here. I took them off because I hated how the hood pins looked um, on this car. I wanted a very clean, original looking look to it, and it looks absolutely nice right now. I just finished cleaning it up. Um, it looks it looks nice right now, but we are missing that piece. So, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get to 2,000 subscribers before the end of 2023. I know we can do it, but without further ado, let me go get that, get that trim piece. And let's start messing around with it so we can hopefully get it put on today in today's video, which will probably happen. Um, it's just, we don't know how we're going to do it, but we're going to figure it out. We always do. So, hope you enjoy. Alright, so, I got it from inside. I freaking hold on to it. There we go. I got the part. It's my little Mustang box. 
here is the trim piece all painted ready to go ready to be installed my uncle also made these brackets so I can put them on a lot easier so there we go here's the part ready to go and it is going to go directly right there complete the look look absolutely amazing look a lot nicer than what it does oh there we go got it on and it does not look bad at all it definitely completes the look um, it's gonna look better obviously but there you go there's a there's your um, estimate of how it'll look so without being without further ado it's time for the time lapse let's put this thing on All right, well, there you go. Um, there is a little gap here, I'm not gonna lie. But there were those nuts that are supposed to go on the other side of this. But the way these go on originally is a clip. So you have to put the clip in, and once you push it in, it's not coming back out. So there's no way for me to get on the inside of this without cutting, like, without cutting anything so i left it like that i left it without the nuts for now um but i did end up putting these on the inside they're really small i i do have to keep tightening it here and there a little bit um so it'll look good and then i added a screw with a washer right here which i painted real real quickly so it looked normal um i don't yet know if that is going to rub there is a little sliver as you can see there um, but there's only one way to tell once you actually drive it so I'm gonna keep finishing tightening those small ones um, I tight I hand tighten them for now but you know hand tightening can you can only go so far and I don't want them to fall off so keep I'm gonna finish hand tightening that well, I'm, I'm going to tighten those um, I might have a ratchet um, we'll see but they are really small so it'd be hard to do but i'll do the best as i can for those and then make sure secure it up a little bit more and we should be good to go And there you go, the piece is all done. It is put on, it is tight. It's not going anywhere, hopefully. We'll see. Um, if not, if, if, it, if it goes somewhere, then I'll make a video. But with that being said, there you go. The piece is on. It looks great in my opinion. Um, obviously the um, alignment is a, a little, yeah. But that's because of the rear bumper. Um, I'm not going to drop a lot of money on this car right away. Um, all of this alignment bodywork stuff is going to get fixed when I get it painted, um, which will be next year. This is a temporary um, thing, um, so I'm not too worried about it right now. Um, it looks good overall, and it has all the ground effects now. Um, the, the car is um, pretty much bodywork. It's all there. Is it good? Eh. But is it there? Yes. And is it, is it a lot better than what it used to be? Absolutely. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video on the Fox Body, the trim, looking good in the camera. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Got a lot more coming um, with the Mustang, the Safari, the Impala, the motorcycles. Um, so yeah, don't miss any of those videos. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get to 2,000 subscribers before the end of 2023. That is the goal for 2023. Get to 2,000 subscribers. I would really appreciate it um, if you guys help out. 
that would mean a lot. Um, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm um, trying to get as many videos as I can out during the summer. So I start school very, very soon. Um, got a lot of stuff going on with school, with the army, all that good shit. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, help me get to 2,000 subscribers before the end of 2023. I would really appreciate it. And hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one. That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, the trim piece looks absolutely amazing. I know the, the primer is still on the car, but we're gonna get that fixed soon, eventually, hopefully. Um, if not, I'll leave it like that. Um, Cause I mean, it is my project car. So it's not like, it's not like there, there's other things on the car that won't, that the primer won't take away from. So, um, but with that being said, there's a lot of things coming for the Mustang, for the Impala, for all the other cars and motorcycles. So, with that being said, hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember, let's get 2,000 subscribers for the end of 2023. We are almost there. Um, a lot of plans for the rest of 2023. 2024 is definitely going to be a big year, like I said. Um, yeah, so, hope you enjoyed today's video. And I will see you guys in the next one. If you go to shinearmor.com, use my code CHICAGOIN20, you can get 20% off your order. So definitely go check that out. Go try it out.